Hello, we're going to be starting our first project by creating something in 3D. Uh, three dimensional means it has height, width, and depth. In other words, it's not flat. So, for example, let's say we have a rectangle. So, this has height right here. And it's got width, which is this part here. But in order for something to be 3D, it also has to have depth, which is this part right here. So let's go ahead and finish that form. So as you can see, we now have something that goes back and has a whole other size. Now this is just a box that looks three-dimensional. We're actually going to work three-dimensionally using clay. Our project start is considered sculpture. So it's an artwork made by modeling, carving, casting, or joining materials into a three-dimensional whole. So we are definitely going to be creating the human figure. Here we have a little picture of the thinking man by Auguste Rodin. And we are not going to be, of course, carving out of metal or anything like that. We're going to be simply using air dry clay. But before we use the air dry clay, we actually have to use something called an armature. So an armature is a frame made of wire or other materials used to hold up the sculpture. I like to think of an armature as something of a skeleton. So we're going to make an armature using a single piece of twisties wire. So here I've got a piece of red wire, just like the color of your skeleton. It really doesn't matter what color your wire is. So anyway, the first thing that we're going to do, and this is a little math, guys, we are going to join the two ends together, these two parts. We're going to hold them together with our fingers. Then we're going to move our hand down the wire. So now we've folded our piece of wire exactly in half. So the next step is, see how I've got my fingers pinched on this end? I'm going to go ahead and pinch out a little loop about the size of a dime. Now, in order to twist wire, you simply Pinch it with one part, so you have to hold your fingers right there, and then you come on in and start twisting. Now, notice I have my fingers pinched because I don't want it twisting too far down. I just want to twi twist out a little loop, so I've got about two or three twists right there, and then the rest should open up like that. So now my wire is divided in half, and I have this little loop on the end. Step two, now I'm going to hold my wire once again exactly in the middle. Again, you got to think about things in half. If you don't know, you can kind of join these two together, find out where the middle is, and then kind of let go again. So I've pinched it in the middle. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to take my little loop and I'm going to push it down so that it meets my two fingers. So they're just going to touch for like a moment. And then you should end up with two little, two little loops popping out of the side there. See that? kind of looks like a butterfly or a bug. Like these are the little wings. So now I want you to just start grabbing the loops and twisting, holding the rest with your fingers. So now I'm twisting, twisting some more. And now, believe it or not, I've got one. Now I've got another loop. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm going to switch hands because I like to twist with my left hand. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to make another loop. I'm going to twist. And here's what I've got now. I've got a head and two hands. And of course now I've got these weird little legs. But they're not going to be legs for long. And these should be equal in length because if you divided it in half, it shouldn't be uneven. So this is what we've got. So now, as you can see, we're making a human figure. So this could be like, picture your guy's little heart right there. 
So for example, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a little heart on my piece of paper. See, there's a little heart. And now I'm going to take one of his legs and I'm going to take it right up to his little heart right there. Now I'm going to take the other one and do the same thing. And now, look what I've got. I've got the beginnings of a little man. So now I'm going to group all of this together. The, all of the ends, I'm going to bundle them up. And I'm going to pinch in the middle. And again, I'm going to start twisting with my other hands. So I'm kind of twisting out his body. And now, check it out. I've got a little guy. Now, I'm not done yet. So right now, I've got this little fellow, two arms, two legs. His arms are actually a little long, to be honest. I could have made his legs longer. And my next step is I'm going to twist out two little feet. Once again, I'm grabbing, grabbing his ankle, twisting out a foot. I'm going to do the same over here. Grab the ankle, twist out a foot. And then I'm going to bend the feet at a 90 degree angle. So see that? That's a 90 degree angle. We're going to look at that really quickly on the paper. So now I've bent his feet outward so that he can stand upright if he needs to. And let's look at it that from the side. So when I say a 90 degree angle, here's the angle of his leg. Here's the angle of his foot. It should make an L like that. There's your 90 degree angle right there. And then now, the fun part is getting my guy to stand up. So you, what you're going to find is he, he's going to fall down unless you put him flat on his feet. And sometimes you need to bounce. I like to move the arms down. So I'm going to have to move the arms downward. Maybe balance him out again. Uh, balance him out a little bit. Lean him forward. And you're going to have to find just the perfect balance to get him. Oh, now he's standing. You can't quite see it here, so I'm going to move the camera. So now I have a freestanding man who can stand firm and is ready to be covered in clay.